Good morning. This is Lou Vanderwig, pastor of the Goodland United Methodist Church. Thank you for joining me in this Christian devotion for Thursday, March the 12th, 2015, as part of the Good Neighbor Hour. Matthew 5, verses 26 through 30, Jesus teaches about adultery. He says, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than for your whole body to go into hell. This teaching is about sexual immorality. Jesus says that having lust for a woman is equal to committing adultery with her. Jesus addresses this to a male audience since his reference is made to looking at a woman. In Jesus' day, the only way a man could commit adultery is if he acted with someone's wife or betrothed. Having an affair with an unattached woman was not considered adultery. If a man took advantage of a young woman and she could prove it, the man's punishment was that he had to pay her father the bride's price, marry her, and he couldn't divorce her. It was more an issue of violation of property than an issue of sexual immorality or unfaithfulness to commitment. The teaching is very condemning of this male-dominant way of doing things. It condemns not only adultery, but the oppression of women. Just looking at a woman with lust is adultery in God's eyes. Taken literally, the second part of this teaching would be very dangerous. God would not have anyone pluck out his eye, cut off his hand, or dismember himself in any way. Jesus uses this analogy to emphasize the importance of the problem. The problem is not with the eye or the hand. The problem is with the heart or the spirit. What one does with his eye or his hand is a reflection of the state of his spirit. A modern example of this might be internet pornography. Statistics show that large numbers of men are addicted to internet pornography. This addiction consumes the heart and mind and destroys not only the one addicted but those around him as well. Many marriages fail because of it. Pornography is also very oppressive of women. The solution is not plucking out one's eyes or cutting off one's hands. The solution is acknowledging the problem and finding help to turn away from it and finding newness of life. Like most addictions, it takes God's help and the help of others to overcome addiction to pornography. Internet pornography is but one expression of the sins Jesus is addressing in his teaching. Even if this particular problem is not applicable to one's situation, the teaching is no doubt relevant to everyone's life in one way or another. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, by the power of your Holy Spirit, help us to understand, help us to respond, help us to choose your will and your way that leads us to life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. On behalf of the Goodland United Methodist Church, this is Pastor Lou Vanderwig wishing you a good day filled with the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ.